Hi there. Learning how to play the melody uh, of Carefree Drifter from the film The Ballad of Buster Scruggs by the Coen brothers is a great way of practicing playing in the middle register and the upper register of the Richter tuned diatonic harmonica in first position. And learning or practicing how to shape your vibrato when you play this is also great practice. So to play with the actual movie soundtrack, you're going to need a B flat Richter tuned diatonic harmonica. Remember, we're playing in first position. The tune itself starts in B flat and then it modulates to G minor, which is the relative minor of B flat. So the harmonica works well for both parts. Um, so I'm going to break it down phrase by phrase and talk about vibrato as well. So the first phrase starts on seven blow. Now on the tab, just a number by itself is a blow note. If there's a minus sign in front of the number, it's a draw note. Right, first phrase. Okay, so there's a couple of things to talk about here. The way I was shaping the vibrato, I'm playing with the tongue block embouchure. So on some notes, long held notes, I'm just flexing my lower jaw because that enables me to do quite a slow control vibrato. The other way that I use is this. So I'm not actually cupping the harmonica and and using my hand to create vibrato. I'm just actually moving the air, really. If you cup the harmonica and do the vibrato, it's quite difficult to, to make it slow enough. And in a way, the vibrato is too heavy. It's a very subtle vibrato you need for this. Now, the other thing about this first phrase is, when you look at the tab, you'll see that the first half of it ends on eight draw and the second half of it starts on eight draw. And I've put a curved line between those two notes because you actually just hold the eight draw. OK, let's move on to the second phrase. So you'll see that's the same as the first half of the first phrase. And then it carries on. And then we come into the main body of the tune, if you like. That first part is almost like an introduction. So now we're moving down into the middle register of the harmonica. OK, so we're beginning on five draw. vibrato at the end and then the second phrase starting on four draw and then for the final phrase we move back to the upper register of the harmonica and start on eight draw hold that last note with some gentle vibrato. Having broken down the tune phrase by phrase, I'll finish off by putting the whole thing together.
there we are. It's a great little tune for practicing in that upper range of the harmonica, as I said, and for practicing controlled vibrato. So I hope you have fun learning it and I hope you enjoy playing it. Cheerio for now.